the Mac M100. Detroit diesel. We're guessing it's probably 13 or 1400 horsepower. It was 13 or 1400 horsepower. Right now it's zero. We're going to use two snatch box to try to pull the truck forward. Look back to the lifting eyes on the truck. We decided after some consideration to add a third snatch block. So it goes from the truck to the Mac, back to the truck, back to the Mac, back to the truck again. We're in here trying to free the stuck drum brakes. It's got wedge hydraulic brakes over air. Bottom shoe is seized. Top shoe probably is too, but the bottom shoe is definitely seized on every one of them. So we're going to try to free them up using the big air chisel. Checking the fifth wheel right now to make sure that it's loose on the kingpin, which it is. Starting to move. I'm sitting up on top of the rear. I have to hold my foot on the brake. I'm gonna see if we can get this thing to move down. So we were unable to pull the truck forward witness marks from that. So now we're going to try to take some weight off the fifth wheel using the rotator and try to block the trailer up some and then hopefully that takes some of the weight off the truck allowing us to pull it out from underneath the trailer. At least that's what we're going to try to do. We're still working on getting the other wheels, the wedges out of the wheels on the driver's side. It moves about two inches. And then it froze up again because the, we think this one's weak. We're up on top of the trailer right now. Getting ready to rig the truck. We can pick up some of the weight. Oh, when I misspoke before, the 16 V1 not a 12 v 149 It's a 16 cylinder Detroit, 149 cubic inches per cylinder, four turbos. It's fairly big horsepower. It's a six, uh, six speed Allison automatic in the transmission, too. It's a very, very large Allison transmission. And the truck itself is a 1970. One of three built. This is the third and final one that was ever built for this model, the M100 SX. Did that take any weight off, Dale? Alright. Now we have two lines snatch blocked once to the front of the truck. We removed about 50,000 pounds worth of weight from the trailer by picking it up slightly and putting more blocks under it. We're hoping it might grab in now and start pulling. We're not sure.
Yeah. 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 Yeah, tire spinning. Look, taking the whole tree with it. <laughs> when that tree popped, that one just thing started moving. Is, is that what did it? Yeah. I felt it all of a sudden. Uh, Hey, I get to be the first guy to drive this thing in an awful long time. Got a Lincoln, Lincoln automatic grease system. I misspoke before. We think it's a Clark automatic transmission because it's a six speed gated shifter. The tachograph to keep track of your day when you're driving this fine unit. You got transmission clutch oil pressure gauge. See the aftermath pulling, but it did finally move. It's out of her hole. <laughs> We're gonna reset now, pull the truck up further after John moves. Hey, you wanna be on YouTube? <laughs> so, you have a drive shaft off the transmission to drive the air compressor for the air tanks. 
for the air over hydraulic brakes. It's a very interesting setup. Sorry, it's not a very good video on this one. Thought that was neat. job for another day. My dad's in the tow truck. I'm going to climb in the passenger seat and enjoy the three hour ride home from JFK Airport. The airport's right over there. One last quick video of the only known surviving M100 SX Mac. Thank you.